TV. We're live, we're interactive, and we're here to take your emails and your text messages mm -hmm. and any questions that you might have for Felicity. Um, Felicity, if our viewers have just joined us, can you kindly summarize what we've just discussed in the last hour? Okay, well, we've been talking about having a happy new year by getting ourselves really well this year and really educating ourselves about the cells in the body. So when we understand our, about how our cells work, then we understand that they're only as good as the nutrition we put in, the, uh, the drinks and the food, also what we breathe and what we think. So really we have to do a detox and we find that the best way of doing that is the juicing and the colonics to clean out the body. So uh, here we go with a wonderful 2015. Excellent. Now, Felicity, we were talking earlier about how um, our viewers can take a, a little nutri bullet into their workplace. Now, we've had an email here from Debbie saying, Hi, Simon Felicity. Majority of UK companies do not allow electrical appliances in the workplace. What do you recommend? Oh, Debbie, that's a shame. Well, then, in that case, um, you know, Joe Cross was running his, his juicer off the back of his car, probably off the battery, I assume. Um, he went right across America doing it that way, so that's another thing. If you haven't got your car outside and you can't go and do that, then uh, you'll just have to take in a, a cool bag with your juices in. At the end of the day, I think the, the principle is that they have the right idea. They're looking to change their diet, change their lifestyle, and you might not have as much nutrients as you would if it was a fresh juice, but at least the idea is there. Would you still not receive some benefits from that? Oh, sure. And the thing is, if you start the morning with a big green juice yeah. and you also go back in the evening and you get onto your green juices then, uh, what a huge difference you're going to make in your life. And you may have a snack at lunchtime, try and keep off the coffee, try and keep off the tea, so have the hot honey lemon ginger drink, which is my signature drink that really gets people well. Um, and of course, there are juice bars now. I don't know where Debbie lives, but um, around London and most of the major cities now, there are lots of juice bars. Okay, fantastic. Um, got a text here saying, Hi Felicity, I got myself a Nutri Bullet and have been using using this for a few days. I've had I've just had kale with some broccoli, spring greens, ginger, half a banana, and apple with chia seeds. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh good, that's wonderful. And and chia seeds are great to use as well. So uh, you know you want to get some seeds in there, so there's the uh, I use almonds, chia are wonderful, sesame, all these different seeds and nuts are so good for us. That's lovely. Who is that, do you know? Didn't put the name, it was okay. a text message. Anyway, but that's, congratulations. That's the point. It's, it's In a way, it's an experimental thing as well, isn't it? Because you're constantly using new ingredients and just seeing what works for you. Fantastic. I'm a great believer in the little Nutri-Bullet and I bought one for my grandchildren and they can actually use it themselves, which is great. Uh, Diff, Saracen, Felicity, so good to see you both in this new year. We have had a wonderful time. Hope you've had a wonderful time with your family. Um, should be avoided for those suffering from arthritis, and that's from Alan and Judith. Hi, Alan and Judith. Right. Uh, yeah, you can get rid of arthritis completely when you, uh, when you get out the meat, the dairy, and you get out the sugars from your diet. So really, it's going back again. To, to God's word, it's going back to the Genesis 129 and 30, juice, and you will find that within days, you're starting to feel better, and within weeks and months, you'll get rid of the arthritis. So again, the colonics are really important as well. You've got to detox, you know, the pain that we get in our hands and our joints um, is uric acid. It's, it's a basic, basically, it's just a buildup of acids. And so as soon as you come off the meat and the dairy, you'll notice a tremendous difference. And what were they doing already? They're, they've already started juicing, haven't they, I think? They have indeed, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay, Happy New Year, Cyrus and Felicity. Uh, my question is about fruit and tomatoes. Right. As I have been told to cut these out due to bladder issues, including a trophy. Yeah, well, you see, again, sugar you get sugar in the, uh, in the fruits. So you've got to be very careful uh, what you juice. And this is why the green juice is always the best because you're not getting a load of sugar with them. So um, cutting out tomatoes, for some people it's really important to cut out tomatoes. 
Um, I'm lucky I can just juice tomatoes and they're fine for me. If you're allergic to the deadly nightshade family, then you will have to cut out tomatoes. And it's worth doing that to uh, see if, if that works for you. Yeah. Fantastic. Now we've got a clip coming up talking about wheatgrass, Felicity. We have talked about wheatgrass previously on, pre on previous shows, sorry. Just explain to our viewers very briefly what is the importance of wheatgrass? Well, the thing about wheatgrass is that it's a complete food. And I've done a little booklet on that that you can see on my website. Um, it has all the amino acids in, so it's actually giving us the best protein in the world. It's the, the protein from the phytonutrients. Mm -hmm. So instead of having protein from the animal products, which do have all the contaminants and the fat with them, uh, when we go back to um, the real thing, we're going to really improve the health dramatically. The wheat grass grows prolifically all over the earth. Uh, it's been known for donkey's years that um, when you apply it to wounds, they will heal. For instance, if people have cuts or they have ulcers on the legs, a lot of people get ulcers on their shins as they get older, and it's very difficult to heal them. And I found they're absolutely amazing when, uh, when these people put wheat grass on. Uh, we'll also take off um, nasty little suspect moles and um, problems on the skin. Do you remember we had that lady, Elizabeth, yeah. who sent me photographs? She yes. had this nasty sort of rodent ulcer coming up. Put wheat grass on topically, and she also drank it, and she did the detox. And within a month, this thing had gone. Uh, so it really does work and when I went to train at Hippocrates Health Institute in America of course they they talk about wheatgrass um, you have to make your own wheatgrass every morning so you you learn how to grow your wheatgrass you know this is good stuff yeah, yeah. this is giving them the rod instead of just giving them the fish you know they're learning how to do it so in the morning you get up about six and you go and do your wheatgrass uh, you grow it and then you juice it yourself so your hands on right from the start yeah and the difference in health is amazing. Wheatgrass is one of the few things that can actually heal lesions in the lungs as well. Okay, well let's take a look at our next clip here. This is by Dr. Brian Clement and he's talking about the benefits of wheatgrass. It is a major food that can be juiced and this food has such high protein and such a full spectrum of nutrients in it that it helps to build healthy cells. And those healthy cells are what your anatomy is made of. Not only your organs, but every part of your structure, your bones, are made of cells. Now when we have this high protein, nutrient rich food, it has a secondary component that's even more outstanding and amazing. Phytochemistry or phytonutrients. Now, these phytonutrients I write about in my series of books called Food is Medicine. And what we find is that these phytochemicals kill mutagens as well as microbes. Now, when we can fight off diseases like mutations and bacteria and viruses, along with building healthy cells, I can't think of anything more magnificent. And when I teach about wheatgrass, I teach it in a very simple way that anyone can understand that all life on this planet comes from the sun. There are very few plants that capture the sun's energy from UV, UA rays, even closely to what grasses do. And wheatgrass has a full spectrum of 96 nutrients from the elemental table. There's 115, no food comes close to this. Wheatgrass has 96 of the 115 elements from that table. Now, when you find the sun rays captured by the grasses, and converting into high protein, high vitamin, high mineral, high phytochemical, even essential fatty acids in a grass that you can now juice and anyone can digest. There's nothing better than this for you. So taking at least two ounces of wheatgrass a day and ideally two ounces of wheatgrass twice a day would make your health completely evolve to a much stronger level. And those of you fighting diseases, this is magnificent. This is what we've been using it for in great part here for six decades. All right. Hey viewers and welcome back. That's interesting there with Dr. Brian Clement. Talk to us a little bit about Brian Clement because we've used him quite often on our programs, haven't we? Well, he's brilliant. He's the director of the Hippocrates Health Institute where people go from all over the world. They go to 
West Palm Beach, and it's rural. It's um, all palms and pines and lakes, and the odd snake glides by. You know, it's uh, you're living in a in a little cottage in the grounds. It's really rural. It's great fun. Um, you can also live in smart villas if you can afford to do that. But um, anyway, I trained there, and I had the most amazing time. I absolutely loved it. And of course, you meet such interesting people. You got the best of the natural health world, really, uh, who are either lecturing or passing in and out of Hippocrates. People come from all over the world. And um, it's really good. You have a, a medical check with a doctor and a nurse when you arrive. They do your bloods, they do your weight. Mm -hmm. There are two things that don't lie, and that's your blood count and, your, and the scales. Yeah. And so they keep uh, tracks on you, obviously. <laughs> Because you're in this rural area, there are no Mars bars around the corner, so uh, you really have to stick with it. And it's just amazing because you're given your colonic kit, you're given your wheatgrass every day, and people change their lives. The first few days, you know, people are saying, oh, I don't know, I can stand this. Um, what am I doing here? You know, I must be mad. But after a week, I think it's Friday afternoons that they have this, um, this sort of graduation ceremony of people who've been there. Whether they've been there one week, two weeks, three weeks, we all go and we hear what people have to say. And the cures from cancer, diabetes, heart disease, degenerative disease of every kind. Um, and you are only living on the green juices and the wheatgrass and you're eating salads and that is all you're having. And it's amazing how you don't even feel hungry yeah. because the body is getting the nutrients you want that it needs, that it craves. And it's also the energy that, it, that the juicing gives you as well, isn't it? Tremendous. And of course, you've got all the best state-of-the-art gyms there. You've got wonderful pools. You've got hot therapy pools. You've got saunas. And it's the most wonderful experience. It really is. And uh, I never thought I'd be able to afford to go there. But I did go in order to train other people and uh, it was expensive, but my goodness me, it's absolutely transformed my life. Now, Dr. Brian uh, mentioned on that previous clip how every, every structure of our body is made from cells. Mm. Explain to us why are, are the cells in our body so important? Well, our cells are our body, really. We are just trillions of cells, and so we have to look after them properly. No one has taught us. I mean, I had a good education, but I was never, and then, nurse training for goodness sake I was never taught really about how to build the cells with good nutrition and exercise and rehydration so we really it's a, it's a matter of education not medication and it's really exciting how we can change our life even when we've become really sick or really toxic or really overweight you can actually revert to health Okay, well, I'd like to remind our viewers that we are live and we're interactive and we're taking your emails and your text messages. This one's from Jane saying, Hi, Siren Fel Felicity. How many juices is best to have if on a juice fast? And how long would you advise having enemas during a juice fast? And how many a day, please? Okay, so let's do the first one first. How many juices is best to have if you're doing a juice fast? Well, if you were at the Gerson therapy, you would be having a juice on the hour, every hour with different colored juices, but basically the green. And for how okay. many hours is that? Well, as long as you're awake, that would be eight right. hours, certainly. I think some people are up later than that. Um, I've been there and people are sometimes having 15 juices a day. But, you know, what you're paying for there is someone who's going to guide you through. You're going to have staff making the juices for you. I mean, it's absolute luxury. Mm -hmm. uh, you're also having the lectures, you're meeting the doctors, you're meeting other people. Uh, so your other people are healing around you. It's very, very educational. So then she needs to do the five colonics a day, and you'll say, five, how could I do that? I did that when I had pancreatic cancer. Uh, I was so ill that I actually found that it took away the pain, the coffee, there's something about the coffee enemas uh, that really works better than the water. And so I did five a day. And that's what she should do if she wants to be radical. Fantastic. Excellent. And what else? There were three things she asked. I think you that? pretty much answered it. She okay. said, how many juices is best to have on a juice fast? How long would you advise having enemas during a juice fast? Okay, you've got to do them. 
because if you just do the juices and you don't wash out the colon, you're going to become more toxic as you as you as your body is letting off these toxins from the liver they're then moving into the colon where they're sitting and being reabsorbed and that really is the secret about getting well you've got to detox and how many a day how many enemies would you well, have a day? I did five I mean that that is the classic thing to do five a day but even if you did two a day that would be a huge huge difference and huge improvement in your in your health Okay, my name is Joyce. After a cancer diagnosis, I started to juice both fruits and vegetables and I was cancer free for two years. But now, but I have just been told that there, that there is a metast metastasis. Metastases. Metastases. Yeah. Okay. What would your advice be? Oh, hi Joyce. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's not a nice start to the new year, but what you can do now is just go radically on what you were doing before. You've got to be radical. I don't know if you were doing the colonics before, but if you weren't, then for goodness sake, start them now. I do have these detox kits and I can send you a book on how to do it. And I promise you that that's really how I got well, um, by getting onto this program and it works and it works for thousands of people around the world. Let's just go back to wheatgrass, Felicity, if we may. Just talk about the, how much protein and nutrients there are in that wheatgrass? Well, you get all the vitamins, including B17. So you're getting the anti-cancer uh, lateral. Uh, you're getting all the vitamins, you're getting all the minerals. So, you know, we're very short of magnesium. People are, are very, um, very deficient on these natural things. So the wheatgrass actually gives you all those things in a glass that you just drink down. And um, if you start off with two ounces at a time, mm -hmm. and it's this pure emerald green, it's, it's quite, it's full of oxygen. Yeah. So in fact, some people, you know, drink it down and go, wow, you know, that's, that's a real shock to the system, but it's, it's really, really good for the body. So what you learn to do when you're at Hippocrates is use it properly, build up gradually. So you'll start having probably three, um, three, doses of two ounces at a time so one first thing in the morning six o'clock seven o'clock another one about lunchtime and then in the evening you have another one but it will absolutely transform the body and if you can't grow it which is the cheapest way to do it and I, I grow it with the big tubs here um, you can also buy it in a powder form and in a frozen form and in a capsule form for people who are really quite ill and they can't drink the wheatgrass. Um, sometimes they feel quite sick, you know, if, they, if they're trying to get the wheatgrass down. So uh, for them, you know, it, it is made in capsule form and you can swallow the capsules down. Now it was mentioned before about the essential fatty acids. Now what are those? Oh, the essential fatty acids are found in the coconut and the avocado. They're the healthy acids, the healthy fats that we need and uh, God has put them into our fruit and our vegetables for us. Um, most people are not eating avocados, they're not eating coconut oil or the flesh of the coconut. So they're really not getting, the, these are the best in the world, these two. So uh, luckily we can now all get uh, the coconut oil through a health food shop and um, we can also buy the avocados now all year round. I mean, we're so blessed now. I mean, the coconut oil, there's so many benefits over the coconut oil, really, isn't there? There's Absolutely. so many different things that we can do. And uh, the essential fatty acids we're talking about, you know, that makes a huge difference for our health, particularly the mental health, for memory. Um, so people who have started Alzheimer's really need to get on this stuff. There was a Dr. Mary Newport who, uh, whose husband was really bad with Alzheimer's and she got him so much better just on the coconut oil. Yeah, now we have a very brief clip I want to show to our viewers. This is talking about the dangers of dairy. We mentioned dairy previously in the show. Let's take a quick look at this and we'll be right back. 
cow secretions. That's the single worst thing that human beings do on a consistent basis. And people look at me in their eyes, get big, what is she talking about? I'm talking about breast milk that's called yogurt, butter, ice cream, cheese, whatever it is. It is the single worst thing that human beings do. And it kind of creates this blockage so that you overeat, make all the wrong choices because it's created for an animal with four stomachs and lactase in its intestines. It's created for an animal that's supposed to grow a thousand pounds the first year of its life. Ladies, do you wonder where this is coming from? You're taking in a substance continually that's created for an animal that's supposed to grow very large very quickly. And that wasn't my journey. I didn't become a vegan first. I gave up meat, fish, chicken, but I quickly learned in, in tutoring other people that you give that up first, it kind of opens up your brain. It kind of helps, the, I, I say the world is sprinkled with fairy dust. You're all asleep and you don't realize what's really going on and being done to you. It kind of breaks down the fairy dust that's keeping you asleep in your lifetime by giving up the cow secretions. And it's amazing how the body that's intuitively programmed to thrive, not just survive. It's programmed to thrive. You get all new cells every. So you get all new cells every three months, every six months. Your whole body regenerates, but because it's getting so much of the wrong stuff, it doesn't happen. And so you fall asleep, and you're constantly taking in the wrong substances. And it doesn't matter if it's a backache, if it's a carbuncle on your toe, whatever. It's all infected, affected by this internal internal environment, and how you're processing what's being given to it. It isn't because you pinched your back or broke your back or stent. It's because of what's going on internally. Hi viewers and welcome back. I just wanted to ex just show a small clip there about the dairy because we we often talk about the dangers of dairy, don't we? And you know, it's so difficult for people to believe that. And as a good Jersey woman, I felt that was just so extraordinary that we should cut out cow's milk. But now, as I've trained scientifically, I do understand exactly why we should and how important it is we're drinking the secretions of another animal which we are not supposed to be drinking. Mother's milk is perfect for the babies in each species, but we don't cross these things. Okay, I just want to go for a couple of emails <coughs> before we finish the show, Felicity. Thank you for your information. How many days would you continue the regime of juice and enemas? I don't have cancer, but I'm di I, am, I have issues which I want to try and resolve. I've done all of this before, but maybe not radical enough. Well, good for her. And you have to keep on the maintenance diet, and you may be able to not do five a day, but you do two a day or something, but do them, and that is the way to stay well. Absolutely. So it's, uh, it's a lifetime program, and it's amazing. And when we can get the young people on that, they won't have the health issues that we've had. Okay, this one's from Irene saying, Hi folks, is wheatgrass gluten-free? Always enjoy your program. Absolutely gluten-free. And that's the thing when people hear about wheatgrass, they think, oh, wheat, I'm allergic to wheat, can't do that. But uh, in fact, it, the wheat has not seeded. This is the baby wheat that's growing and there is no gluten involved. So yes, absolutely use it. Um, can you please advise, if I don't eat meat, um, will I become anemic? No way. I mean, the, the whole thing is that you get the best, for anyone who is anemic, you need to get on the green leafy vegetables. So juice them, eat them, and that will completely cure your anemia. <coughs> uh, Regina is asking, I suffer from high cholesterol. What can, what can, what can I drink to, uh, to get used to, to? What can I drink to improve my cholesterol? Absolutely what we're talking about, the juices right here. So your high cholesterol will come down. The high cholesterols come from, from stress maybe, but also mainly from the animal produce and the fats. So we have to have good cholesterol in our body. You know, this is interesting because there's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. And uh, we need to have the, the good things like the avocados, the uh, coconut oil we were talking about, and all the good fruits, vegetables, seeds and nuts, the chia seeds we mentioned today. We need to have those uh, to keep us really well. Okay. <clears throat> we are coming towards the end of today's program, Felicity. So <clears throat> just give us your final thoughts and the final advice to our viewers, if you may. Well, I think Happy New Year. And particularly, I want Catherine G, uh, who is Armenian, I think, uh, to please send me her email again, because the email she sent to me didn't work. And Melanie G, I shall also be writing to you later today. 
Hey, let's see, <coughs> we have come towards the end of today's programme as always. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you very much to our viewers as well, because without your emails, without your interactions, we wouldn't have a show. And we feel so encouraged when we hear from you. To remind you that we're doing the Get Well Challenge on Twitter, join us. It's hashtag Get Well Challenge. We're on an on-demand service on our website. It's www.revelationtv. We're on YouTube, <laughs> youtube.com slash RTV Europe. Thank you as always, viewers. Lovely to see you. Same time next week on Revelation TV. God bless. <laughs>